Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from uh, Circle Empire's Arrivals. Uh, today we are starting a new series where we will be trying to beat Defend the Castle on Impossible with every leader. We will start with Wolfham and move on. And Defend the Castle on Impossible is actually the one of the easier uh, impossible modes. The only one that is easier is probably only uh, <coughs> uh, defeat the army. And um, the, and the reason we are doing it on the DLC and not on the base game is because uh, all our strategies are not going to change much. Uh, and the only thing is that it might be a little harder on uh, the DLC. So for those playing on DLC, it will just be uh, better to showcase. The only differences will be with some leaders as Viona, but we will talk about that uh, later. And if anyone says that they would retrocede it only uh, on a base game, no problem. I will just do it there. I don't really care. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, the strategy that we will be using with Wolfram is trying to get a lot of high resource circles and uh, getting tons of necromancers and then moving into a, a caravan a late game. <coughs> um, we, uh, in this uh, run we actually got pretty good uh, map with a lot of high resource circles and some gold circles. If you see a lot of gold circles you actually might not want to go for this strategy and you might uh, want to go for <coughs> uh, uh, a nearly pure mage strategy as you want to get early mages and just use them to uh, obliterate the enemy army. Uh, the strategy if you like get three gold circles, spiders maybe to, uh, to quickly get them can, can be quite devastating and have a pretty high win rate but you not always get this and getting uh, good uh, resource circles can be safe and necromancers are one of the comeback mechanics as they when they level up they become significantly stronger and when you get mass uh, some master necromancers they start leveling really quickly uh, and afterwards we can just um, destroy waves one and uh, uh, one and two um, <clears throat> and the problem is with this strategy is actually wave three wave one is melee infantry or just guards, spearmen, and everything uh, like that. Uh, wave 2 is range uh, enemies, and wave 3 is uh, cavalry. Cavalry is really problematic because cavalry is a very high quality, uh, has very high quality units. They lose when they get into a late, a late game and such as they don't have any abilities or splash damage so they are not this great there but they can still deal a ton of damage and if you are not careful and they run through your circles uh, and you don't have uh, all the necromancers and units that you already need at that point you will lose a ton of economy and wave for might just destroy you after you are not able to get any more uh for any more healing towers uh and other other units and towers needed to defend against it. Um, and here you might see we are starting with uh, we started with X Men instead X Men instead of uh, archers, which is the typical opening. This is because uh, archers are significantly faster to get a good economy running, but actually want to have some damage output against Wave One. And even though X Men deal really like the really bad damage uh, but they deal more damage than level one necromancers and you don't always have enough money for uh, towers and also so you want to have when the wave comes a uh, bigger army and with the three minutes ma three minutes as it's now it's better to go for x-men that archers almost always um, so yeah, that's why we went for X-Men. Uh, what I'm doing here is um, I am not micro my units very much as most people are not. So uh, as this is supposed to be partially exemplary, uh, I am just 
<coughs> not doing it and you know, normally I'm not doing it as much. Uh, here with wave 1 we didn't get the best wave, we got a uh, level 2 of Spearman which is not the, the greatest, thankfully the AI is quite stupid and it does those weird moves where it moves one way then back which gives us a lot of time, uh, uh, time to just damage them. The best ways are uh, golems as they are fairly slow and you get a lot of them so you can level up your necromancers quite fast. Uh, and goblins and such. Um, he, here I went for gold, ab uh, uh, gold getting upgrade, which is very useful. I uh, in this scenario, as you need a ton of gold, especially uh, early on. Uh, later you have markets and you get your gold and wood from there. Uh, but early on you really need that gold upgrade to survive. Uh, so here are infest uh, steed maidens, that should be fine. And one thing I forgot to mention, uh, um, you, there is a bug, where, where there are many bugs, but uh, the one that is very annoying is when you attack move someplace, you actually, uh, your units don't understand they are supposed to attack there and they just stop moving or they move like one step and then one step back and yeah, you, here we can see it happening. And this is actually quite annoying because it slows your progress down, uh, but it is not that bad. And as was the hours we want to use, uh, if you are going for a lot of necromancers, you won't still probably want to go frost tower just because of how the cost is balanced. <coughs> but the main towers are healing tower, as we have X Men, uh, which have a lot of health. We also want to go for acid tower uh, to kill enemies quicker as. When you don't are not able to kill enemies in one way, there are some problems that are coming from that. <coughs> As uh, the next way might just absolutely ruin you. So here I started worrying a little bit as uh, maidens have a lot of health. Thankfully, they are not level two. If they are very level two, some more problems with their eyes. I would have to go for. Uh, uh, wolf riders and such to uh, survive and not be uh, and not level up my units as much, which is quite needed. As the next one are silver deers, again, that is the level two deer, not the level one deer. Um, so they don't even provide the amazing amounts of berries on kill. Uh, they, they still provide a lot of berries on kill, but not as much as the normal wave and the fewer units the more problematic it is so uh, so we want to kill these maidens as fast as possible get the all the towers we need and somehow uh, survive uh, 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 survive that way also what you might see me doing i'm not sure if i already did it uh, is uh, when i'm fighting in one circle i delete the towers in uh, my friendly or uh, circles next to it as I don't want uh, the enemy to start attacking uh, my other circles as I said destroying an economy early on can lead to just a dead game. Um, again you are not supposed to clump these units as I am here you want to split your units uh, they are uh, uh, these deers and every unit uh, every wave is uh, uh, going against a specific clump of units I'm not sure exactly how the programming there works but you want to space them evenly so if you are not able to micro them perfectly and just move them with slow and everything uh, so when they kill one unit they go to another but here we really don't want units to die as we have to level them up to survive here we already can see we have some um, uh, uh, really high level units it's especially the x you can see them here getting bigger and here I started worrying because I don't have the best army, but uh, I have some army, and but I am lost nearly all my economy. Uh, the good thing is that, as you can see, we got a ton of berries from those deers as they each produce one uh, berry on kill. Uh, so we are going to try to harness them, and uh, we, as we, with this army, we'll just try to uh, uh, take back our circles and get a market economy going so uh, we might still have a chance in this game uh, the next wave is vampires 
and vampires are not that problematic actually when you get wave wave one vampires are really happy because you don't get the most levels out of it, but and vampires are generally very strong. But 30 vampires isn't that much, and if you just slow them down and they don't get to level up, you can easily kill them. Um, so yeah, that, uh, so vampires without support when one player already has scored, they are losing quite a bit. So uh, that's that, as we can see, they are just not able to fight at all. We are not. Uh, dealing as much damage as we want, but we are still going through them. As for upgrades, uh, you want to get schools, not really early on, as uh, you will lose uh, units, you need to take circles and defend. Um, the economy upgrades, we want to get the gold upgrade, and we also uh, want to get uh, upgrades uh, like uh, nutrients, uh, but only later on, as Early on, we will just get all the workers we need. Um, and for combat upgrades, uh, you want to get them earlier than I am doing here, but I mostly pay PvP where you never almost want to go for upgrades as they most of the time are really overpriced. So that's why you can see uh, me not going for them a little too late. You can go for them much faster. And how are we? We are going to win this uh, by uh, waiting until one uh, uh, wave, <coughs> two waves in a row come from the same corner. As we can defend it quite easily, we can get all the towers. We can. Uh, we don't have to worry about movement. And then we are just. And while we are waiting for the second wave to come, we will just. Uh, uh, run over the uh, other circles and get a really strong economy going, and we and at that point we really don't really stand a chance of losing, except and you really have to be careful about this, elder witches. They are not as strong as some other waves, but you have to be really careful because if you don't notice that the next day are elder witches, and you don't get your rain mages, they will kill you. You. You, you you will have enough economy to get a ton of rain mages, but if you don't notice that, you, you have a pretty good chance of just dying. This actually happened to the last run I uh, to, uh, was just ready to pick it up and just wanted to attack the enemy circle, like I have a big enough army to take it. Uh, but what became is that other witches just spawned and obliterated me. So yeah, you have to be careful about that. Also, you want to always sell walls. So you don't. I'm not selling them because the income that you get, get from them is not really that significant and just requires me to be able to click at it, which sometimes doesn't happen. But yeah, uh, here I am supposed to micro to move all the units all the time, but. Uh, at this point, you really don't need to concentrate about the game as much as you are really in a winning position from here on out. Just be careful about the, what waves are coming, uh, get your markers going, uh, and everything is fine. Also, one thing I see a lot of players do wrong is they put markers close to each other. Yes, caravans uh, come faster, but Overall, you get more income the further the uh, caravans, uh, f further the markets are. So get them as fast as far as you can, and if you have haste towers, also get haste towers. One thing I forgot to mention, I've just mentioned, I, oh, I will just put in the video the why we are using DLC and what are the differences between DLC or not. There are not really any differences. DLC is maybe a little harder, uh, but there are more leaders and we are working with it and we are not really using any DLC units in these strategies. Uh, and I will try not to use them, except some leaders where you really need the launcher as Viona is. This Viona used to be extremely strong, but not. She she is quite liking in uh, PVE, but that will be when video about Fiona comes. So here I'm just getting all this stuff ready, 
and now all the gold income starts going after we set up the caravans. Um, and here I am finally going starting to uh, take this thing. We are entering because there are a lot of these circle defenders, so it's better to just move your range units in uh, to just quickly kill everything. I'm just putting more necromancers. You can now that you have gold go for mages, it's probably better, but we already have our uh, ancient mage leveled up, so we have enough damage uh, and burn to do everything there. Um, so, as you can see, we are controlling already the uh, whole map. We have uh, zombies from necromancers, uh, and this game will really be easy. Uh, to win from this point on, uh, we can actually, after we have enough income, just use towers to defend these waves. But around wave 10, we are going to win anyways. Then 11, maybe sometimes 9. Uh, it depends, but yeah, it should, sh it should be pretty fine so, uh, from this point on. I am just really careful as I don't want to attack uh, the 30,000 circle as I always feel that I don't have enough rain mages to survive all the fire damage you, you, you have most you, you have it very quickly just I'm a little paranoid after some games where I was not really as careful and attacked a li little too early and just died but yeah, you can attack much faster and just take everything out. As you can see, I'm not moving my camera much, I'm not summoning unit, just, you know, when I think about something, I just spawn it, but you really don't have to do much at this point. Um, so I will talk a little more about the different strategies that you can go for uh, while we are just winning this and killing everyone. Uh, so, the other strategy that you can go for is early nights um, and in, then into uh, uh, mages as you get bank income and then you just win. Also, I forgot to mention this uh, now. There are also, except Elder Witches, some things that you should be careful about. Here, I really don't have a reason to be. Uh, uh, that afraid of them as my units have a lot of health they are pretty leveled up but still i prefer to be on the safe side and i really don't want to be doing this all over again so just be a little more careful careful put circle defenders but everything should be fine as uh mages uh necromancers pumpkin necromancers or pumpkin wizards on higher level they all have area of effect damage, so just be careful around those. Um, also, uh, what I wanted to mention is your late game consists of level up units as necromancers and such, and a lot of fury mages as fury mages stack, and you can just get incredible amounts of damage. They don't have much health, so they they will probably die, but the early burst of damage you are getting from them is quite nice and with the economy that you are having at this point in the game that everything should be fine so here we will just clean up uh, these last two last you know, yes last two circles and should be absolutely fine uh, i'm just putting these towers they could defend if it will uh, even uh, if uh, even against sea devil champions which are more problematic against towers as there are many of them but they also have a ton of health so yeah you can just do that yeah i could have already taken the circle but as i said paranoia also what i see a lot of people doing is not selling their walls early on sell those walls you you are not going to take the circle much faster without with the uh, Walls and in some cases it is going to slow your programs not just because progress not just because you have less resources but also because units act differently and such so sell all walls you just want to take circles as quickly as possible so yeah <coughs> uh, 
um, that is that. Uh, the, um, one other thing that I see a lot of people doing is going dragons. And the problem with dragons is that they cost more than a necromancer. They deal burning damage, but they don't are not as good as ancient mages, which also deal burning damage. So just go mages, they will have up and everything will be fine. Don't waste your time with uh, those dragons. The only time you want to do want you, you can do that is when you are having healing dragons or uh, you are playing Damien and you have access to black dragons which are leveled up normal dragons. Uh, but even then it's not really necessary. I don't really have to do anything about uh, uh, dragons. You can just ignore them and play normal with uh, other uh, splash damagers as necromancer as mages. Um, the next video we will be covering is Wilbur uh, first. Wilbur first. I hope I remember that correctly. Um, and uh, he is actually much easier than Wolfram. Wolfram has some big uh, issues. Well, not issues. He's not the best leader to do these things with. Uh, as he has a nice starting bonus. He can take circles earlier, little than most leaders. But yeah, uh, if you want to beat it, there are many leaders that you can just always win with. So yeah, here is the video, I hope you enjoy and I will be seeing you again tomorrow or a day after that. So yeah, mm, see you soon.